Hi Aries, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with someone else in the second spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Aries, let's see what the person on your mind thinks about you or what's going on with them. We have the Ten of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups and Justice. And we also have the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is somebody from your past, right? This is either your ex or somebody who could have had a chance with you and they blew it. They blew it either way, right? The, the energy I'm receiving uh, is they think that they could have had it all with you and they made a mistake. Perhaps they chose somebody else or they chose something else. They overlooked you. Or if this is your ex, perhaps they already had everything they could potentially have with you and they somehow messed it up. They walked away. And now they're planning to come back in a big major way. Alright, so we got the tower on the bottom of the deck. So this is something falling apart, something in the past. Um, again, if this is your ex, then obviously uh, the two, that's the two of you breaking up and uh, ending this connection, right? Or perhaps they um, chose somebody else and uh, it just didn't happen between the two of you. Perhaps the tower is what you were hoping, uh, you were hoping to have uh, something with this person, but instead they chose something or someone else and it all fell apart, right? The very first card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. And uh, you could have already been married to this person or you could have already been in a relationship with this person or perhaps this is what was on the line. They got chicken feet or they got scared or something, or they just simply messed up somehow, um, right? And uh, the Eight of Cups, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody walking away in the past. Uh, they are either walking away from this relationship or marriage, or they are, uh, they didn't um, take this opportunity, right? They either walked towards somebody else. You get the idea, right? I don't want to talk about the same thing over and over again. So th there either was a commitment or marriage or they could have had it with you, but instead it all fell apart. So their current status is they're planning a comeback, right? We got the two of pentacles clarified by the knight of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or the knight of swords. This is them thinking of rushing back in before it's too late. It could be too late. I don't know yet. We'll do the second spread to see. Um, but the uh, yeah, this is them planning to come back and with the Two of Pentacles perhaps they are strategizing. They're thinking what would be the best way to win Aries back or what do I need to do? They're weighing their options on how to uh, bring you back into their life, how to get back into your good graces. Right? And I think uh, the next three cards, the Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups and Justice, this is the plan. <laughs> okay, The Six of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, but at the same time it's a card of somebody coming back from the past. Either your ex or somebody who had an opportunity with you and they blew it. And they're coming back with the Ace of Cups and Justice. Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice is a card of a major, major apology. Justice is a card of them wanting to make things right. And Justice could be a, a marriage, right? Because uh, Justice could be an actual place where people get married, right? Like a chapel. And uh, the Ace of Cups, it's all about love. This time apart made them realize just how much they love you how, or how much they are in love with you or still in love with you because the Ace of Cups is all about genuine authentic love. All right, there is. So yeah, I see this person coming back to you very, very soon. Right now, they're thinking of the best way to do it. All right, so that's what we have so far. Let's take a look at the uh, potential spread real quick. Aries, here's the potential spread between you and uh, the person on your mind, the person we saw in the previous spread. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by Justice. We have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Lovers. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups and the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra, uh, Gemini, or Pisces, or any Zodiac sign. Um, yeah, so the Ace of Pentacles, the first card that came, came out, it, it's clarified by Justice, right? <laughs> Justice as a repeat card, could be dealing with a Libra. But the Ace of Pentacles is kind of similar to the Ace of Cups energy we saw in the first spread. It's perhaps 
um, they will come back and uh, you're going to be let me think about it or you may reject them and then they will go back to the drawing board and they will come back with even a better offer because the Ace of Pentacles to me personally is uh, the Ace of All Aces. I don't mean to belittle the other three Aces but the Ace of Pentacles is like a package, it's like a bundle, all aces combined into one. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, by the way. I don't know if they're going to propose to you, but this it does happen when people think that the only way to get somebody back is to propose to them. But uh, the, if you reject them or if you hesitate, they will come back with uh, with an upgraded offer with, these, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, Justice is a major apology, or this is them wanting to marry you. <laughs> making them wanting to make things right with you. We got the moon on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but the moon is, you know, it's, it's a card of secrets, it's also a card of fear, a fear of rejection. It's also one of the most emotional cards in the, in the deck. So perhaps this is them uh, secretly planning a comeback, or perhaps this is also you kind of getting a bit emotional, because uh, perhaps you are you don't trust this person or you have doubts yourself, you have fear of uh, this person walking away from you again, things like that. Right? And therefore, with the Four of Swords clarified by the Lovers, I think this is you taking a bit of a break. Even if they try a couple of times, you will still be taking time off to think it through, to wrap your head around this, right? The Four of Swords, this is you literally taking a break from this and thinking about it. The Lovers, clarifying it could be a Gemini you're dealing with, or the Lovers is a card of a choice, all right? This is a card of a choice. It's also a card of a soulmate connection, by the way. It's, in my opinion, the Lovers is uh, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It, that's my opinion. And then the last card that came out is the Ten of Cups. So if you want this, Aries, you can definitely have a commitment to marriage, right? We started with the Ten of Pentacles in the first spread, and now we're ending with the Ten of Cups in the second spread. The Ten of Cups is also a commitment to marriage card. This card is often referred to as the Happily Ever After card. It's a family card. Um, you know, free will is always at play, but uh, I think this person learned their lesson. Um, I wouldn't jump head first with them, just uh, if you want to teach them a lesson, if you want to take time to make them nervous, <laughs> that's totally fine. But if you want this, if you want a family, if you want a commitment this, with this person, I think they will definitely deliver this time around. Alright? So yes, that's what I have for you, Aries, for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing December. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.